Who is my morning jacket? I don't know. Critics and scholars have wondered for years. We're still trying to figure that out. My morning jacket is Jim James, Patrick Callahan, Tom Blankenship, uh, Carl Bromel, and uh, Bo Coster. I first heard about him, I uh, actually got a cassette in the mail. It had four acoustic songs, and Jim James called me on the telephone, say, hey, got this new band we're starting up. I don't know, you might like it. It was not the fully fleshed out version of MMJ that is familiar to everyone now, but even then you would go see them, and this is 98, 99, and there was just this feeling that this was a band that could do something. I don't think we really think about why we do what we do. We just love doing it. I don't know. The, the five of us are uh, very blessed to have each other that we, we all allow ourselves to be vulnerable in front of a crowd full of people. And I think it breaks down a wall and lets people break down their walls too and become vulnerable. And, and I think that that is a huge connection point between our band and our fans is that we can all be vulnerable together in a creative space. Um, and I just feel like it's that gathering of community that people need so bad. I mean, I feel like every person is born with a thing that their heart tells them to do. I mean, we all grew up loving music individually and we're lucky enough to come together and be able to play together as friends and form this little community that we have. Their music is representative of so many of the people and places of this state, um, which I think kind of makes them the ultimate ambassador of music for the state of Kentucky. Their songs are very much grounded in classic American and British rock. It's, it's all stuff that's familiar on a DNA level for music fans, but they do these little twists and turns and turn it into something, uh, in a lot of ways, extraordinary. They cultivated uh, an audience for themselves, and they grew that aud audience very meticulously. They actually went out on the road and almost killed themselves playing every dive bar in America. They actually did it the old school way, and it worked. Everything they've done throughout their career, they've done the right way, and they've done it with integrity and passion. We all want to be loved. We all want to be accepted in some way. You know, every human has these basic needs, and I think people in general need to stop categorizing themselves and stop categorizing their music. You know, you like country music, I like hip hop. We're so different, but we're not different at all. It's all, it's the greatest illusion of all time. There's no reason to keep dividing people. There's only reason to keep unifying. Well, even from the start, they were always real collaborative with local musicians. But what's unusual is that once they really hit it big, they, they worked even more with local musicians, especially young musicians. Oh man, can, collaborating with the Louisville Youth Orchestra and the Louisville Leopards, and I mean, we just like, the crime of all the cuts and the arts funding and, and just the, the shame of that it is so great that I feel like it's everybody's responsibility to make up for that, you know, because kids deserve, every kid deserves a chance to find their path, you know, and we just believe so strongly in that, that it's like, what can we do to, to help kids have things that we never had, you know, things that we wish, like I wish there would have been a Louisville Leopards when I was growing up. I mean, you know, it's like I would have been like, Mom, sign me up for that. I want to do that. I want to do that. Yeah, you got to dare to dream. There's always going to be somebody telling you you can't do something, and that's just not true. At that core of consciousness that's at the center of, of every living being, there is something that's the same, and I feel like music is one of the easiest ways for everybody to connect. There's a reason it's called the universal language, and you know it's just something so powerful that I don't think, I don't think even, I don't think any of us even understand how powerful it is. That's how powerful it is. I don't. Know, we were just lucky enough to all find each other and not uh, get into horrible fights and want to kill each other. And is that why people connect with our music? Exactly. Because we, because we, we love, love each, each other, other so much. Yeah. <laughs> our love for each other is so powerful. Thank you.